have dedicated their time and energy towards growth and development in different fields. In today's program, we have Stella Oiro, a clinical officer and a digital marketing strategist. Let's hear how she did it. Stella, welcome to the program. Thank you. So a clinical officer, how did you venture into the digital platform? I know. Thank you for welcoming me. Uh -huh. Yes. So um, I'm a clinical officer. Mm. And I'm also a digital marketing strategist. Okay. Yes. So it all started uh, when I was doing a side hustle, mm. running a small side bar. And then I got interested in to the internet and a lot of stuff that the internet can bring. Mm -hmm. Then I started realizing that I can learn a lot of stuff. And then I, I that's how I got into, into the digital marketing world. Mm. So... Basically, I learned about digital marketing. Yeah, and that's I'm here yeah. today. You talked about a side hustle. Was why were you doing this while you're working as a clinical officer, or was it in school or something? Yes, while working as a clinical officer. Mm. Okay, that's nice. So, and uh, the digital uh, space has been long termed as a masculine uh, platform. Yeah, uh, how come you ventured into it? Okay, personally. Uh, I've never looked at it like that mm. because I grew up in a space where I was allowed to explore and uh, bring my voice and always do the things I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, as a young child, I learned reading while reading my dad his newspapers in the morning. Mm. And that gave me a platform where we would discuss what, what was in the news mm -hmm. like almost every morning as a very young girl mm. yeah and that i think gave me the power and the confidence to always explore so i've never looked at a lot of stuff as this one being masculine and the mm. rest mm. however though i would say that uh, the only way to break that stereotype is by getting more women mm. into the digital world and just teaching them and bringing them into platforms where they can learn mm. Yes, the technology and stuff. Okay. And uh, someone might not understand who a digital marketing strategist is. So who is that? Yes, so a digital marketing strategy is, trust strategist mm -hmm. is uh, basically a professional who has specialized in creating marketing strategies, digital marketing strategies eh, for businesses so that they can be able to market their brand, get market their products and services mm -hmm. so the way the digital marketing strategies do this is by creating various strategies uh, out of all the digital platforms mm -hmm. that we have eh, mm -hmm. to help these brands achieve this again the digital marketing strategies they analyze whatever is working mm -hmm. so that the businesses know where to improve what to drop out mm -hmm. and so on. Another thing a digital marketing strategist does is they know the best tools mm -hmm. to deliver a specific goal, mm -hmm. a specific marketing goal for a specific business. Oh. And so if I were a brand, maybe a, a company that needed to put you on my team, what things do I need to do so that they can put you on board as a digital marketing strategist? Okay, so uh, basically it will depend on what the brand wants. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the brand has to set goals. Okay. Then depending on the goals that the brand has set, then the strategist will create strategies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm using a same word to describe the word, but okay. yeah. So uh, in digital marketing, you realize that there are so many components that mm -hmm. can help you uh, build your brand mm -hmm. around the digital platform. And we have social media marketing, we have okay, search okay. engine optimization, we have pay-per-click, 
we have email marketing, we have content creation, which is very common in Kenya right now. Uh -huh. You see so many influencers, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Influencers. Okay. yeah. Yes. So based on the goals of the this particular business, mm -hmm. then we'll, we are going to choose the, the, the form of digital marketing that they want to really explore. Mm. Yes. So take us through the journey of how you became a digital marketing strategist. Is this something you studied for or how did it come about? Yes, so uh, like I told you before, um, I used to run a cyber as a side hustle, mm -hmm. but I had to close it because of competing tasks and again I was moving out of uh, that particular town. Mm. Yes, so after closing it, I I didn't stop there with my internet stuff, mm -hmm. so I started learning. I realized that I needed to learn more mm -hmm. if I was to grow in whatever I had started. So I started learning and uh, one other thing that really pushed me into this is uh, at some point I realized I was spending a lot of time on social media, mm -hmm. especially Twitter and Facebook. Mm. Yes, so uh, I realized that I have an addiction to social <laughs> media Okay. and I told myself that if I'm spending, I'm putting in my time into social media, mm -hmm then it has to it has bring to me bring something. Money. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, true. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even if it's not money, then mm -hmm. it can also bring me knowledge mm. and even a network. Okay. Yes, so um, one day as I was scrolling Twitter, I see an uh, a poster from Ajira Digital. Ajira Digital is a government body mm -hmm. that trains people on digital literacy programs. Okay. Yes. So uh, they were advertising for people to join, and that's how I joined. It was some time late in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I went to their website and scrolled through their courses, and the first one that caught my eye was transcription. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I did a, a training for transcription, went through mentorship, and even worked for some time transcribing. Yes, on various platforms that we had been mentored on, mm -hmm. we had been shown how to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then at some point I realized that uh, I was having trouble with my ears, mm -hmm. so I couldn't really Listen, uh, hear yeah, what they, yeah. Okay, so I realized okay. transcription it was not really working for me. Then I enrolled again for digital marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then now when I enrolled for digital marketing, it was like... I had been put in the, the right place. In, yeah, yeah, it fits in. <laughs> okay. and, yes, and uh, I think another thing that really helped me is I got the best mentors wow. on that platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would just love to mention uh, one of them is called Elizabeth Mbugua, mm -hmm. another one is called Ben. Mm -hmm. They were really good with mentorship. So we, we, we do this training, we get the mentorship, we are linked to various jobs mm -hmm. like you are told you can do this you can do this mm -hmm. and uh, the first the first platform that we were introduced to is a platform called wowzi mm -hmm. wowzi w o w z i okay, okay, wowzi okay. yeah uh -huh. so wowzi is like a platform where they use influencers mm -hmm. to push brands for businesses mm -hmm. yes so they use influencer marketing to market for brands mm -hmm. yes so I joined the platform and then um, I could get work it's just an app you download on your phone oh really yes wow so uh, once you download and do all the requirements you link all your social media platforms, uh -huh. then you can start getting jobs okay yeah so like you see the same way you'd get a notification that you you have a message on your on your phone uh. Yeah, it's the same way the, the app works. You get a notification that there's a job. Uh -huh. You have this amount of time to accept it. Once you accept, you take the instructions and do the job. You post whatever they, they've sent you on your platform. Mm -hmm. Then you, you you are paid after some time. Wow. Yes. And so uh, I would love to ask, through, through this training, was there any money involved for you to get the training? The training from Ajira? Yes. No, it was free. It's free. Ah. Yeah, yeah. It's free. Wow, wow. Yes. It's because free. most young totally people free. think that anything to do with the government, lazima will be. No, it's totally free. All you need is uh, internet bundles mm -hmm. and your gadget. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So digital marketing, 
how is it different from advertising? You talked about uh, the, what the brand wants. Mm -hmm. So how is it different from advertising? Okay, I wouldn't say that it's really different mm -hmm. because even digital marketing has advertising in it. Okay. Yes. But the real thing is that we've been so used to the traditional advertising mm -hmm. where we use t television, mm -hmm. we use uh, newspapers, word of mouth mm -hmm. or posters on trees or buildings. Okay. And I think that's, that has always been so expensive for, for people. Mm -hmm unlike a uh, digital marketing platform. It provides you with cost-effective uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. It also gives you a targeted reach. Like you just do a sample, you just decide that I want to, I want my advert to reach this particular age group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you are able to do that, unlike the traditional advertising methods. Okay. Yes. And so now let's talk about One Vibe Media. Mm -hmm. What is it? Okay, One Vibe Media is a consultancy firm. Mm. It's like a digital marketing agency. Okay. Yes. So uh, basically, what One Vibe Media does is that it uh, it has various uh, sectors that deals with all the comp components of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it offers all that. And on top of that, it also does event production, mm -hmm. videography, filming, yes, and capacity building. Okay. Yes. So what role do you play at One Vibe Media? I'm the digital marketing strategist ah, for One Vibe so you're Media. The, oh, okay, okay, yes, okay. Yes. So, and uh, you've talked about the kind of things you would do for a client, mm -hmm. you see. And uh, what kinds of projects are you personally involved in the, uh, at One Vibe Media? Okay, so uh, One Vibe Media, uh, we have clients, mm -hmm. and uh, some of our, of our clients are One Vibe Africa, mm -hmm. we also have a podcast called African Father in America podcast, mm -hmm. we have uh, Madaraka Festival, mm -hmm. among so many other clients. Mm -hmm. So most of the projects we deal with include event production, mm -hmm. like Madaraka Festival is an annual event mm -hmm. that uh, we produce. Then for One Vibe Africa, we have so many activities. We have Kijiji Night, it's also uh, an event that we produce. We have uh, IMAP, IMAP is Education, Music and Arts Program. Mm -hmm. So under IMAP, uh, is where we do videography, filming, yes, and we also do capacity building. Like right now we have a music workshop that is going on mm -hmm. every month, at the end of the month, every month. So we, if you check our platforms, you will just find that you can register if you're interested in the music workshop so that you come and get knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, we also have a digital literacy program okay. that we are rolling out right now. Yeah, our target is the youth so that we can bring on board so, so many youths who mm -hmm. can train for digital skills. Mm -hmm. And so what impact does One Vibe Media have to the society through this project? Uh, I can say that the, the impact is quite huge because mm -hmm. we've capacity built so many youths. So we, we offer capacity building. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are so many youth with so many talents in all these digital skills that we are talking about. Some know, some don't know. Mm -hmm. And the ones who know, they don't know where they can get help. So we, we do that. We also offer networking. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. because once you have the skills, then what? You need someone to, to like help you get the right network. Okay. okay. Yes. So uh, another thing we, we also like help people learn more and uh, connect them to opportunities. Okay. Yes. I would love to ask, uh, how saturated is this field that uh, you're involved in as One Vibe Market, uh, One Vibe Media? How saturated is it? Is it well known with, by people, or it's just a few people who know about it? I wouldn't say that it's saturated, mm -hmm. and I'm a believer that 
nothing is really ever saturated. Okay. Yeah, there's enough for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's there's true. There's enough for everyone. As long as you keep pushing, mm-hmm. there's always enough for everyone. Mm-hmm. Because everyone is unique. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you see, these great things that happen, mm-hmm. there's always a team behind it. That's true. So you ca- I, I, I really don't want to say that it's saturated. Because oh. I don't believe it is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And in the current generation, how important is it for the youth to indulge into these digital platforms? Yeah, just like I've said, I think it's very important because uh, you can network. Mm-hmm. That's number one. That's for sure. Because like me, mm-hmm. I, I started just alone exploring the internet. Yeah. But right now I've really networked with so many people i've even met you <laughs> yeah <laughs> see? that's true you true. see how how far this is bring, is is moving mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. so you'll network mm-hmm. you'll build your career mm-hmm. yes uh even if you're in the medical field like me uh-huh. you can use your platform to talk about you can give people a health education mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. you can use your platform to empower people mm-hmm. see yeah so you and then another thing you can also learn you keep learning in the digital world there, there are a lot of free resources for people to learn from mm-hmm. yes wow there's something you've reminded me of uh, in the digital world nowadays we see advertisements of how to make easy money through social media or through the online platform yeah some things like affiliate marketing digital marketing mm-hmm. what can you mention about that is it as simple as it sounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds so simple and so easy. Mm-hmm. And I can say that if you are starting out and you are, let's say, hungry, you're tired, you're broke, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then someone tells you, do this and you get money mm. immediately, <laughs> you think that it's so easy. Okay, okay. But I want to confidently say that it is not a... Uh, a quick get rich quick scheme eh? mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. you're not going to get rich quick okay. instantly uh-huh. you're not going to get rich instantly mm-hmm. yeah so uh you should not lie to yourself that you you will make it in in a day or in seconds okay yeah so it's not as simple you have to put in the work mm. so as long as you 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 know your goals you know what you want you know what you're passionate about mm-hmm. then it's worth taking the risk mm-hmm. but you have to know that you have to put in the work mm-hmm. yeah. and now seeing that you're in this space and and uh, there's a young woman out there who feels like i'm not cut out for this job you know yes it feels enticing it's wonderful you know the glamour and all but it's technical mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. can i do what can you tell such a person personally it's a nice experience since i joined this platform mm-hmm. and if there's a young woman out there who is hesitant about joining mm-hmm. and has thought of joining mm-hmm. then i think take the risk okay. because you don't want to ask yourself later what if i did this yeah mm. wow so what if i did this yeah so it's I, i'd rather you just do it and then see what happens okay yeah and uh, as well it's also always assumed that when when most people hear digital they think social media mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what more can you add is it just social media or just the internet yeah so digital marketing is a world full of so many opportunities mm-hmm. and social media is just but one of them okay yes so uh social media has all the the popular uh, platforms like facebook mm-hmm, mm-hmm. twitter instagram and right now we have tiktok tiktok yeah yes but there are so many platforms mm. for social media mm-hmm. and apart from social media we also have something called search engine optimization okay yes yeah, so search engine optimization basically deals with driving traffic to a website okay so it's also part of um, digital marketing mm-hmm. there is pay per click pay okay. per click or you, we can also say search engine marketing mm-hmm. where someone advertises on the internet mm-hmm. i don't know if you've ever googled something then the first thing that comes 
app on top has an, an ad advertisement. Yes, yeah, yeah. An ad mm-hmm. next to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that is what we call search engine marketing. Okay. Then there's also email marketing, which is my favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I think email marketing it's like having a one on one conversation mm. on the internet with someone on the other side. Okay. Yes. So email marketing is also good. And then there's also content creation. Mm-hmm. Content creation, I would give an example of, um, you see our, our content creators in Kenya. My favorite ones are uh, Crazy Kenna and oh, okay, Awinja. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that is like a content creation mm-hmm. process. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, a, an example of content creation. Another one is uh, YouTube. YouTube, there's a lot of content creation going on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, podcast. I, I'm sure podcast is not so... Uh, popular in Kenya, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's picking up yeah, and it's, it's, up it's really a good yeah. one also. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you talked about content creation and uh, when I view my platform up of TikTok, I see different content uh, topics, different things. For one to succeed in the social media world, let's talk about social media in terms of content creation. What should I understand? Mm-hmm. What should I do or what should I not do so that I can, you know, yeah so content creation uh you shouldn't just start content creating you Mm. need to have a goal everything you do you you always need to have a goal Mm -hmm. so uh for the content you create you have to make sure that it's authentic Mm -hmm. it's engaging okay and it's creative enough Mm -hmm. so that it just gives you that organic traffic you know naturally you don't have to like force it you know Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you really have to ensure that it's authentic, Mm -hmm. number one. Number two, Mm -hmm. make sure that it's engaging enough. Mm -hmm. And then number number three, Mm -hmm. make sure it's creative. Okay. Yeah, it gets the attention of your intended audience. Mm -hmm. You've talked about many different platforms that one can get involved in. What about the opportunities that are in these platforms? You've mm-hmm. talked, you said when you, when you are trained on transcribing, you actually were able to get jobs on tra- transcribing. What other opportunities are there in this digital space? Yes, so uh, digital marketing, you can, you can become a social media manager. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can manage so many social media platforms for different clients Mm -hmm. or even for your organization Mm -hmm. and that's something that can pay you money Mm -hmm. yeah because you you're putting in time Mm -hmm. and uh, i think that's something worth paying for okay uh number two you can decide that you you are an seo specialist Mm -hmm. or you come up with seo agency Mm -hmm. so your work is just to make sure that people's websites are optimized and getting the the leads that they need, the target, the, the, the leads, the traffic. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can also uh, become a, an advert, uh, like a PPC agency. You can create a PPC agency mm-hmm. where you just uh, master how to do Google advertising mm-hmm. and you just advertise for people on google on the internet or whichever platform you want to use Mm -hmm. yes so there are so many opportunities okay yes Mm -hmm. you can also do e-commerce yeah e-commerce you see nowadays there's a lot of online shopping okay yes so you can manage someone's e-commerce platform or even just your own Mm. Wow, I've really, you are so knowledgeable about the field you're in, mm-hmm. and I would love to ask, how can we access your services? Okay, so uh, One Vibe Media, we have a website, mm-hmm. if you just google onevibemedia.com, mm-hmm. we have a website and we have all our services listed, we have a contact page, but you can also just contact me directly, mm-hmm. Stella at onevibeafrica.org. Okay. And uh, what other similar fields uh, to yours can someone get opportunities in as a young person? There are so many other fields in the tech world. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Top on my list is data analysis, data Uh, science and data analysis. Okay. Yes, there's also software development. Mm -hmm. There's uh, the designers like UI, UX, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
and then there's um digital marketing itself yeah yes and then there's so many <laughs> there's so many wow yeah and must i be in the field of computer science to understand all this not really okay not really so that's the beautiful thing about the internet mm -hmm. yeah you can as long as you you've identified your passion mm -hmm. you can just start exploring okay because google uh once you want to venture into this field mm -hmm. then google is your best friend google is your best friend wow just ask google anything you want to know anything you want to learn uh -huh. like free courses on digital marketing if you just google free courses or free resources mm -hmm. or resources mm -hmm. you'll always get away you'll always find your way okay. and if that is hard you can start with the jira <laughs> <laughs> thank you so what advice do you have to a young person who feels uh i do not have a job but i want to do something what advice do you have for them life is full of choices mm -hmm. and always choose positivity mm -hmm. yeah. yeah you'll never grow by being negative at oh i don't have a job mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. i don't have connections oh no uh you always have to choose positivity but having said that uh number one thing you can do you can identify your interests and passions mm -hmm. once you identify your interests and passions look for the opportunities around your interests okay yeah mm -hmm. then once you find these opportunities take the risk mm -hmm. take the risk because if you don't take the risk you'll keep wondering what if i did yes yes, <laughs> yes. yes and yes, you yes. don't want to do that to yourself because it will drive you into negativity and mm -hmm. we are trying to choose positivity right yeah yeah so take the risk mm -hmm. after taking the risk be persistent mm -hmm. be consistent mm -hmm. and just stay disciplined and focused wow wow yes wow. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much stella i have loved this mm -hmm. and uh, you have really simplified the digital platform for us all yes. life can be challenging it's about positivity and find something that you love take the risk so that you may not ask yourself what if i did this has been youth in action i am nyangweso grenis bye this is the way to do it This is the way.